long week, long week. Hey, what's going on, guys? This was a very interesting and tiring week. It's been busy as, as usual, but, uh, you know, as, as most relationships go, uh, Mariel and I got into a little bit of an argument. It's natural. In a relationship, here's my opinion. If you don't fight with your spouse, you're fucking stupid. Either that or you don't love them enough to sock them in the stomach. That's true love. When we spend quality time, I tend to get distracted because I have so many things on my mind. And so we were having lunch and I was kind of just, you know, dozing off. Mm. So when we spend quality time, which we don't get to do a lot of, and I'm kind of doing that shit, she gets really pissed off, but you should see the way she reacted. You were on a different le level of anger. Like right off the bat, your face looked like a kabuki warrior mask. <laughs> <laughs> but of course, in every relationship, after you fight, you have to make up. And what better way to do it than to go to Disneyland. What's the difference between California Adventures and uh, Disneyland? California Adventure, you get to drink. <laughs> now see, I never really liked Disneyland, and I know that sounds fucking crazy, but Disneyland is expensive as shit. You know, funny enough, I actually got a, an annual pass for us because I know that she loves Disney, she loves Disneyland, and so we would make use of it. Turns out, the fucking girl decides to go ahead and get a job at Disney, so the, my annual pass went out the window. Here we are at Disneyland, 60th anniversary. We are going to have a fantastic time. Remember, my dear. Hold it steady. I'm trying. <laughs> Mariel and I haven't been to Disneyland in a while because we've been so busy. She actually works for Disney, and uh, I got a, a what do you call it, season pass? And annual pass. A, annual pass, and we haven't been able to utilize it, so we decided to come out here on a Sunday and have a good time and uh, you know do couple stuff. Oh my god. Every now and then I'll see like uh, a couple of my guy friends, like they just go with a group of dudes and I'm like, dude, that's fucking weird. The only reason any male above the age of 18 should be at Disneyland is one, if he's with his girl, number two, if he's trying to pick up babies, you fucking perverts. If you are 40 years old and you are still going to Disneyland by yourself, think about it. You look like a baby toucher. I think it was a good way for me to make up for uh, the things that I did. But interestingly enough, even though I do fuck up every now and then, uh, I still don't stop with the jokes. Y'all thought I was single this whole time. I ain't single. I had this loser. Kiss me. And it turns out in our relationship, most of the times uh, when I make jokes, uh, she doesn't laugh, and uh, I'm the only person that finds it funny. My God, it's Cinderella. I don't like white girls, but. Mm. A little interesting thing about Mariel, she fucking loves uh, Frozen. When we first started going out, I told her that I wasn't too hyped about the Frozen movie. Guess who I just met? <laughs> you were excited more than the little children were. That was the creepiest part. Just relax, dude, relax. I think they were just like taking it back, like, oh my god, is she from- They don't know the beauty of Anna and Elsa like I do, okay? Like throughout the day, I was trying to teach her how to vlog, because I think she- Not that she ever wants to open up her own YouTube channel, that's not at all what she's doing, but she was going to grab the GoPro stick and go about and talk. I kind of wanted her to emote a little bit, talking to the camera. Hi, everybody! Was I good? No, you're not loud enough, you're holding back your voice, why are you doing that? Because it's- Hi, everybody! You know, you have to think about it like this. Who cares what people think? It doesn't really matter at that point. Yeah. Oh, uh, fine. Sound like a jackass. Go ahead. Go ahead. Just talk uh, about uh, you. Uh, 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 Hi, everybody. I'm Mary. <laughs> and uh, today, what we're gonna do is be really quiet because I'm shy to talk to myself in public. I talk to myself in public for a living. Shawty, I don't mind if you dance on a pole. Yes, that makes you a hoe. But yeah, of course. When it comes to like relationship stuff, I like doing stuff outside of the house and going out and having fun because you know when you when you always stay inside of a room and, you, and, that, and that's kind of like your guys's comfort zone and area you don't really get to know that person that well to be honest with you <laughs> <I'm talking. laughs> I just want to dance freely go ahead I know some of you out there are, are, are perfectly fine being couch potatoes and that's okay too and so am I. I love staying at home because I travel so much. But when you guys do things together, you guys also create memories together. You do have like particular experiences that you get to talk about that you did on your own. But now it's time for you guys to create memories for yourself. And this is why I prefer doing things outside with her because I don't get to spend a lot of time with her. So when I do, I definitely try to make it count. Yeah, plus when we go out and do things, her quirky side comes out. This girl's a little, you know, she's a little weird. Because for me, it's 
it's all about creating memories, you know, so that when you look back at uh, what you guys done and uh, what you guys did together and created, um, it's not just staying in one place. Those those memories are important because even for me right now, you know, I, I've been taking a lot of pictures of us and that's something I used to hate doing. I, I used to hate taking pictures of myself. I technically didn't even like being in front of camera, but uh, I do it now because um, she kind of mentioned something where I, I take so many photos of her, she realized that I was never in the photos. And if it's our memories, then where am I? You know, I should be a part of it as well. One, two, three. Mmm. How was that? I see so you. Mmm. I see so you. <laughs> your style, your beauty, your smile's got me feeling some type of way Makes me lift my hands and praise Besides, your body's bona fide Won't you slip out of that Sunday best?